Hey guys, and welcome to our third episode of our weekly show, The Last Hit, uh, presented by Mountain Dew M Game Fuel. And for this week, for this issue, I have the best support in NA. I said this the same, like <laughs> I said it last week for, for Big as well, but this time it's Gate. Oh, but yeah. this week it's different, right? Yeah, this yeah. week is actually true. Okay. It's still something that we see quite a lot from Optic is getting the lead and throwing it. How can you explain that? Well, it's very common, I think. Within Optic, we we get a lot of early game leads and I mean we do transition them into the win sometimes but there are a lot of banana peels on the <laughs> yeah I feel like slip. it's kind of a Mario Kart race when yeah. you and when you're ahead you only get banned and as yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much what what happened so the second part of this show we spoke about uh, the reset rank it was a huge meme in NA uh, match, matchmaking was completely broken from the changes from Riot the Took a step back, went back to the old system, which is always like still the case in the NA, Korea and stuff. Um, so now it's not positional ranked anymore. It's like just one general MMA. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Well, I don't know why they changed it in the first place. Um, I mean, personally, I don't think anyone had like a fantastic experience with it for the whatever time it was out for, maybe like a month or so. But in my eyes, uh, I see the idea. They just want to make you feel like every role is a different game. But it's just too much, I think. Uh, and also, just the MMR was too messed up from the reset. So at higher MMR, all the games were really not balanced. Just there's too many bad players. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, as, a, as a bad player, right? Because I'm not <laughs> a good player, for sure. It, it, it was really weird for me, because I, I just jumped to my default MMR, which is like Platinum. And I play games, but I'm Platinum playing like bot lane ADC support. I was Platinum. But I, I just start, started playing mid lane for some reason. I just wanted to try. And I start platinum, you know, I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why? I've never played this role ever. If you look like my history, I maybe have like 50 games in mid lane in my life. And I start like platinum, so I got like role by an opponent because it's very different gameplay. And I'm like, hmm. Feels really bad to lose 50 games in a row just because my MMR is yeah. and yeah. there is nothing you can do about it. And you just have to like consistently lose. And even though you lose or you win, I feel like it's not only that the, the initial position is bad, but the way it adjusts was really bad, like you were yeah. losing so much or winning so much for no reason. I, like my personal experience was, I, I like to play bot lane, at, le at least I like to autofill, but generally I play bot lane and I usually play with an AD carry. We would win a lot of games, but all these games just feel so one-sided, like if we're really trying hard, we're gonna stomp the game, but then there's also the rare one in, one in 10 games where you're winning so hard, but your team is just, they shouldn't be here, so you lose the game. and. That was much rarer before, at least at higher ELO. So I'm glad they're just going to reset it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like there, there might be somewhere a solution where, like, a main, a main, I don't know, main ADC wants to work in jungle and doesn't get like filled with people of his level because obviously it's going to hard grieve the game. Yeah. But I think the way they executed it was pretty bad. Yeah, and another complaint I think people had was it just took too much time. If you played more than one role to rank up both, or even three, or whatever. It actually just took way, way, way too many games, and no one had the time for that. Yeah, actually it was a, one of the big part of the, of the new season. I think it was like kind of the highlights of the new season, and it was complete failure. Mm -hmm. what, what would you do to actually improve the, the ranking, the ranks? Well, I don't, I'm not that picky. I think I just want a working ladder, and I, I didn't think they had to change much. Uh, they made Challenger also like more people with another tier, I just thought it was actually a better idea to make it even smaller, not bigger, because then people feel like they've accomplished something when they reach Challenger, or the highest. Um, I mean, right now it's 300, but in the past it was 50, and I remember when it was 50, I would sweat really hard just trying to get top 50, and it was actually really fun because everyone's trying to do the same, but now everyone, even if you're in Challenger, people just think it's, it's whatever. Yeah, I wish I was still in German. <laughs> <laughs> it's not whatever for me. <laughs> And now guys, it's time for victory in a can moment. The best moment of the previous week for Optic Gaming. So this week we have chosen the team fight against TSM that actually gave us the path to the Baron. Even though we threw, I think it was definitely a winning moment for us. Can you speak a little bit about it? Well, we had the flank on Dokla, but before that, uh, Kram chunked out, broke blade really hard on Vladimir. And their front line, they thought they had to fight for the dragon, so their front line engaged first, but they were a little separated, and Dokla came around the back with Aurelia. Uh, and we killed two, I believe, and then it was just a free Baron afterwards. Yeah. So I think it's 
it was just a good fight call in general. Yeah, yeah, and I think TSM was too indecisive whether they should keep on the objective or just turn. And yeah. th this time actually costed them the, the fight and the, the Baron. So what happened then is we actually threw and they won the game. Obviously, yeah. it's, not, it's not funny. But that was a victory in a can moment because I think that this transition from good positioning to Chunk to good team fight to Baron was actually the proof that Optic can do great things in team fights. So this is the moment of the show where we answer questions from all fans and that's pretty much it. So let's jump into it. The first question the fans have for you, Austin, is what, among all the positions you play, because you played a lot of positions, what was the one you liked the most and what was the hardest one? The most fun or the one I enjoy the most? Uh, I got one game in on top and I think it is the most fun because one, I only played one champion then. I only played the really broken Gangplank and it was really easy to play. And I was so last minute, I had, to, I had to YOLO the whole thing, but I got my champion first pick and I thought I had a great game. Or I just had a lot of fun playing the game. And I, I knew like after that week, I'm not gonna play top again. <laughs> so I really enjoyed it. And for the hardest one, it's definitely mid because when I was in mid, I played against <laughs> all the good and a mid laners, Bjergsen, Jensen, Phoenix, like at that time we're all considered the best. And I thought, cause I, I came from Challenger then and I personally thought I was not good at all, but I learned so much in the, like the span of time, just playing mid against them. And they're all like, they're all really helpful to me too. Cause they're all giving me tips. But yeah, I thought that was the hardest for sure. The second question we have for you is what is the story behind your nickname, Gate? One trick, or I guess two trick, TF Jace, TF, second part of his ult is gate, and Jace also <laughs> puts down gate. Oh, really? It's that? <laughs> it's, it's pretty stupid though. Oh, it works, really it works, man. Yeah. So the third question, Austin, is if you had only one fast food chain for the rest of your life, which one? Which one would you choose? Choose wisely, man. My personal favorite is uh, Tripoli. <laughs> This is too easy. That's so, that's so cheesy. Yeah. I give it to you, man. Okay. I need the Chipotle spot. I will sell out. I, I love Chipotle. I want Chipotle every day. Okay, Austin, last question, serious talk. You played for quite a long time. Uh -huh. Among all the meta you've been playing in, what was your favorite one and why? For me, the most fun was when it was barred every game because the game is pretty random on the Bartle and that was my job. And all I did was, I remember, because I learned from a lot of people how to play Bard, all I do is I would hug a wall so I'm safe from any enemies, I would just make the portal. But then my whole game in LCS was I run up and down the river collecting my chimes, I ling for maybe 30 seconds, and I throw an ult mid. And team fights, it's the same thing. I thought it was so fun just to play that competitive. You like randomness. Yeah, yeah. I like to fight. Yeah, so, you yeah. just like to fight. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. So that's it for our social media questions. Thanks everyone for asking questions. Keep doing it and we'll answer on the next uh, issue of the show. And that's it for the week. Okay, guys, that's it for this issue. Austin, thanks a lot for answering all the questions. I hope you had a blast. Yeah, it was fun. And we want to thank, obviously, all fans that asked all these questions, the fans that are watching. And obviously, the delicious drink, a Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. And we'll see you guys in the next issue next week. See you guys. Take care.